Hi guys, this is Pelafort, and um, sort of unhappy with the sound quality of the last two videos again. And this time, it's more around the fact that the music really just it it takes up too much of the thing. So I I've just opted to not the music's on like bare minimum. I doubt you can even hear it, so it'll just be my voice. Hope you don't mind, but basically it makes everything I say harder to hear. Metal Mario can move. Okay, I think that's this one. Um. Huh. G jet. No. I never realized that that was visible from up there. Huh. Okay. Don't fall on me, big rock. Rock's chasing. Oh my god. Um, hopefully just turning the volume down will, you know, just overall make everything easier to hear. That's what I'm going for. And I'm being rash. Making bold decisions. Shoot. Follow the dirt dirt road. Because dirt will take us to places we need to go. Dirt is good. Soil. Are you opposed to soil? Okay, this should um I'm always worried about that one because I don't want to overshoot or undershoot. Um the next one I think I'm gonna do is the elevator. Cause let's see what I have and what I need. The elevator and then navigating the toxic maze. Both of these I'll just do this one. Oh man. It's full of traps. I might get these done really quick. These are all really short lived stars. I guess you could see. So, I don't know which one I'm going for now. It's whatever door I go to. I don't really remember a whole lot of this because I've never intentionally ever gone after a certain star here. You know what? Maybe I have because I've played a few games where, like, it was over at a friend's house and they already had a file started. But I think at the same time that might have just been... Um, they wanted me to start from the beginning instead of continue on their already started game. I don't know. I figure like this is a pretty easy level that most people have to complete. Yet, so yeah. shifting sandland is where they start to get like oh ho ho. You know what I mean by that? Right, being pretty vague. Yeah, I remember coming here in the first video of like, Hazing Maid Cave. I did. And I didn't want to go and get all the columns because turning around here is not very fun. Don't come at me, Beth. Get at me. Okay, 50 stars. Also 50 coins. That would have been embarrassing. The other one, you gotta find another elevator or something. Chaps, you get an already color block really helpful. Oh, I can go to the third floor now. But I'm not going to for quite a while. I haven't even beaten that Bowser. But yeah, I... Oh, wait, 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 what? So technically, I think that means that I can go... I could go to, um... Um... Tick Tock Clock and Rainbow Ride. But I can't get to the second floor to get to the third floor. That's sort of fun. Then again, this game is made for you to be able to beat it with 70 or 75 stars. I guess we'll figure out when they say we can go, but we'll still be down here. I think we'll still be down here. One more here. 14 from Shifting Sand Land and 
So if it's lethal lava lane combined, it's 15. So 65 plus another 7 from Dire Dire Docks. Bowser in the sky is another 1. Now we'll be, we'll already be up there to that floor doing snowman land or whatever it's called. I think I'm just going to take them in order from here. Alright, so now you take this elevator up. I'm doing really awesome on time, so I'll probably go to Lethal Lava Land today. That's done. I think I... Okay, first six levels completed. Awesome. Right? Let me just make sure. Yep. One, one point record. Talk to that toad. Pop the rabbit. Vanish from metal hat. Secret stores. Alright. Lethal Lava Land. Possibly my favorite level in the game. It used to be Tall Tall Mountain. But then I started hating it. Um, basically. Uh, I guess it's open arms. But it's o I always feel like lava worlds are just such natural platforms. I mean, look at this. This is like the essence of a good platform. It's got everything you could possibly want on a good platform. Um, and I think that's sort of natural because in shit, in lava worlds, um, granted, there's a lot of um, I feel so philosophical talking about this. There's a, there's a lot of um, there's gonna be platforms that you're gonna be jumping around. There's gonna be a lot of obstacles. Because a whole lot of the world is just going to be avoid this part, and it's like it's like when you're at the store as a little kid, and there's two different kinds of tiles, and you gotta one of them is hot lava, and you can't step on it, and it, it, it's just like we all have that natural platformer instinct in us, and that's it's, it's like platformer games help us take it to the extreme. You know? Boil the big bowl. Let's do this. Oh, ha. I like to trick him out. Oh, if only I could hit him. Okay, cool. Still doing pretty good on time. Shit! Oh, fuck, I hate those things. 53 stars. Um, yeah, basically. This world's sort of open. It's very traversable, sort of, I guess. If you have a Koopa shell, which I think I can get here. 100 coin stars, not hard. You just have to go into the volcano for part of it. And they have that huge... I can't get the cool shit. They have that pretty big glitch in the system where you can just wing cap and take three damage from falling into the lava and up on the rolling log star. I don't think that might not be fair, but it might be awesome. I don't think those were the bullies I was looking for. Shit. These guys. You really gotta punch them or else do nothing because it takes too long. To recoil the like sliding hits. Oh man, a uh, hundred point star. Good thing there's a lot of points to be had because basically you're lucky to get these guys' coins. They fall into the lava a lot. Shoot. At least I got the star, huh? Now I have to fight another one of these guys. Come at me, bro.
Oh, what? Okay. <laughs> That's sort of amusing. Okay, first three stars in Lethal Lava. That's a six star video. I haven't had one of those in forever. And it's like ten minutes now, so... I'm gonna go call this video completed. Have a good day, guys. This is Pelleport.